Okay, guys, let's have some fun. Actually, this is not fun for those who are watching this video because I have a bad news for you. Uh, I mean, it's not catastrophic, bad, but it is a serious concern that I want to uh, show to people to inform the public, to let them know what they are getting and what they need to be aware of. This is about elect uh, WePad SST electric scooter. Two things I want to mention, my serious concern, because these concerns are real, because there's a real issue that you need to be aware of, that you may not have received from elsewhere. One is the charging, uh, charging batteries on this scooter. It's more specific to the battery pack, not, not the scooter, not so much the scooter itself. Uh, I don't know the packaging. When you buy this scooter, I don't know if the packaging is same, consistent, or, or if it's different depending on where you buy the scooter from. From what I have read, it looks like uh, it comes with two different chargers. One with one point standard standard 1.5 amp charger and uh, 11 amp super fast charger, where you have it gives you option to to choose which one to go with for charging your scooter. It gives you a nice option of fast charging or just regular charging. Now there's a serious problem because this scooter comes with Samsung 50E 21700 battery pack. It seems like that's the only battery it comes with. And that battery has its limitations. It has limitations just like any other batteries, this battery pack has limitations as well for both charging and discharging. Uh, the discharging, it can only take so much current into the battery before it starts to get stressed and, and cause wear and tear prematurely. Let me show you what I mean. I have the data, which you can easily get. If you pull up the data sheet for the Samsung 50E, you need to look for the charging current. Under, under standard, under charging current, the standard charging current is 2.45 amp and the max charging current is 4.9 amp. Note, it says, the manufacturer says not for cycle life. Okay, they set it for a reason. And 2.45 amp is the stand, it, is, it takes up to 2.45 amp standard charging. And your your char your 1.5 amp charger would be no problem. It would be safe to you charge using that charger because it's well below the uh, safe range before the battery starts getting st uh, stressed, put into stress. And if you put if you use 11 amp charger on this thing, you're asking for serious problem. You're gonna kill your battery. You're gonna kill your battery without realizing, without knowing it. Meaning that your battery is gonna fail prematurely. It could die suddenly. Uh, it will not be able to reach its intended specified cycle life anywhere close to it. 
nowhere close to it. I don't know how how bad it's gonna get. I don't know how soon the batteries could fail, but it's like a ticking bomb ready to go off at random, and you don't know when it's gonna happen. Because problem is, even if you even if you charge the battery at 4.9 amp, which is the max charge charging current the battery can handle you're not going to be able to reach the uh, specified cycle life typical batteries usually last are anywhere from uh, anywhere from 250 to 400 even at 500 cycles usually about 300 anywhere between 300 and 400 cycles of life um, you're not gonna get you're, you're not gonna be able to reach that cycle life charging at 4.9 or 5 amp 5, 5 amp charger because you're putting stress to the to the uh, cells it's creating a uh, heat because of resistance buildup it's going to cause wear and tear prematurely and your battery will degrade. Uh, not only your battery's life will be shortened, but also your power will drop because your amperage discharge will also drop, which means your, your power, your acceleration, top speed, all that will be affected. It will slow down which is a serious problem, especially for speed junkies like us. And that we're talking just 4.9 amp here, charging at 4.9 amp. Imagine putting, if you use 11 amp charger on this thing, what's going to happen? It's going to kill your battery. This is emergency. This is emergency broadcast. I'm taking this seriously and you guys need to be aware of this. This is not minor. You cannot overlook these things. You need to be careful. Be Watch out. It will... If, if you use 11 amp charger, uh, I mean it's gonna charge. Okay? It's gonna charge at up to 4.9 4.9 amp at the rate of 4.9 amp current it's not going to charge at 11 amp rate it won't and all and and the real problem is so you're actually charging at 4.9 amp not a true 11 amp not a, the real problem is the charger is forcing that power, that current through the through these battery batteries, and it's creating heat and resistance because the battery can't take more than four point nine amp. So that's how your battery is going to get damaged prematurely, wear and tear, and fail on you. I don't know how long it's going to last. Maybe it could last, I don't know, maybe a few months, several months. It's, it's a ticking bomb ready to go off. You don't want to use 11 amp charger on this thing. Use, please use your 1.5 amp charger. That is the safest way to charge. I know it takes a long time to charge that, but it's better for your batteries. It will prolong the life of your battery pack. These batteries are not cheap. They are expensive, especially Samsung batteries. I'm surprised that the, uh, the seller or wh whoever, the company, the marketing team, whoever designed this, whoever used this configuration to make, to build a scooter and, and packaging them, with the, uh, the accessory, with the parts. I'm surprised that they overlooked, skimmed out on the importance of the battery specification. Apparently they overlooked this because if they, re if they fi find out, if they understand 
if they really understand the importance of this, they wouldn't be using 11 amp charger. They wouldn't sell you that. Okay? This is important. You cannot overlook these things. It's going to hurt your battery. You don't want your nice expensive scooter to go bad on you, do you? You paid a lot of money on this thing. How much is this thing? $7,300? It's close to $8,000 after tax and shipping. And I'm surprised that they, the company is using the Samsung 50E, which I will get into more detail shortly in regards to performance, my concern on the performance and overrating, height overrating on the uh, performance numbers that they advertised for the WePad SST. Here's the problem. WePad SST, like I said, only comes with Samsung 50E batteries. And the Samsung 50E can only put out so much power in discharge of amperage. Because that is the power you gotta go buy. You cannot go buy what what the what the uh the motors and the controllers say. Um WePad SST ha comes with two 200 amp controllers. That's a lot of power. That's a lot of power that it, it is able to draw. And um, uh, the batteries run in nine parallel. Okay. Problem is, you're not going to be able to get anywhere close to the advertised 33,000 watts. Nowhere close. It won't be able to pull amperage of 200, 400 amp anywhere close to. Despite what, what the controllers are capable of. You cannot go by that because what what's happening is that even if when this, um, even if when, when you get maximum power out of the battery under best running condition at max peak discharge you're getting 14.7 amp per cell out of the battery 14.7 amp times 9p 9 parallel gives you 132 amp that is how much of current available from the battery for that instant uh initial power that you get in the acceleration okay it is not a continuous power it's a max peak discharge like a pulse like a pulse discharge like it's a, it should power shoots up quickly and then it fades down quickly it goes down gradually and it happens at the early part of the acceleration, each time when you pull the uh, throttle. You know, when you pull the throttle for max performance, for max, when you, when you pull the throttle all the way. It's not a true, it doesn't give you the continuous sustained power. You gotta go by the sustained power to get more accurate, realistic reading of your power. 14.7 amp gives you 11,113 watts. That's nowhere nowhere close to 33,000 watts. That's less than one third of what it's advertised for. Okay? That's, that is, and that is not even true wattage. You're not even getting that true 11,113 watts. Because it is not continuous. It is not. It is not sustained power. Um, you gotta go by the baseline of... You gotta go by the uh, continuous discharge current as your baseline. 
because that is your sustained power. Almost like a guaranteed power you get from, from the scooter, from the battery. So if you go by 9.8 9 amp continuous discharge, you're getting 88 amp from the battery. That's how much power it will you get from the battery equates to 7,408 watts. That's a lot less than 33,000 watts, isn't it? Now here's the catch. It's a little more complicated and it's not that simple because we pet SST does have a very powerful controllers and we pet did this on on purpose they did it for a reason apparently they have gone through testing and researching which is why they came up with 400 amp controllers the what ha what's happening is that the 400 amp two two 200 amp controllers combined giving you 400 watt 400 amp you're not getting 400 amp like i said earlier but what's, what's happening is that because it has so much uh, power draw demand, it will pull more, little more power out of the battery, uh, but not above what the max peak discharge current that battery can give you. It cannot give you more than that. 14.7 is the deadline, is, is, the, uh, is the top. So what's happening is that it looks like SST's 400 amp controllers are actually drawing about 13.5 amp per cell at full throttle. Okay? That's pretty close to the max. That's pretty close to the max peak discharge current. Looks like you can get, you'll be able to get that level of power in good length of time. Because the controllers are basically forcing the battery to give, to, to, to produce, to deliver that much of amperage of 13.5 amp. So 13.5 amp times 9P gives you 121.5 amp out of the battery. That is more close to the realistic, that is more close to the actual power you get from this scooter. 10,206 watts. That is more, that is close to the realistic number. That is more close to the true wattage you're getting from that scooter with these powerful controllers. So that is still less than one third of advertised power from from the WePad company, 33,000 watts. Nowhere close to 33,000 watts, is it? I mean, 10,206 watts is a lot of power and we're talking, we're not talking uh, hypothetical advertised 10,200 watts you would get from other scooter manufacturers because they too also overrate their numbers, okay? They don't usually underrate their numbers. They overrate, all right? So 10,206 watts is actually a lot of power. What I'm saying is you don't need 33,000 watts to, to reach 75 miles per hour okay you don't in reality in actuality uh the 10,200 watts will do will fix will surface it will be enough to give you in that speed range uh, anywhere from 70 to 75 miles per hour at best depending on the weight of the rider Obviously, the lighter, the the of the lighter of the of the rider, the better it is. 
But for typical person, for typical weight averaging of 190 to 200 pounds, you're looking about around 70-ish, just a little over 70 miles per hour. Still, that's very fast, very fast. Standing up on a scooter, traveling at that speed. Uh, but the problem is, it's overhyped. That's what I'm trying to get at. The company is advertising as 33,000 watts and you're not getting anywhere close to it. And they are saying they're using 400 amp controllers. It makes people get excited. Okay. Uh, that's what marketing is. That's what marketing I is for. I want you to, I want you guys to be aware of this, understand more in depth, in greater depth about what, how much power you're actually getting out, out of these scooters and how much power you need to get to certain speeds. You don't need 33,000 watts and you're not even getting that anywhere close. So you're paying a lot of money. You're paying a lot of money to get just to get a little more performance out of out of these scooters compared to other fast scooters out there you know other fast fast ones popular ones that that are rated for anywhere from 8000 7000 to close to 10000 watts 8000 9000 watts you're not it's not a you're not getting a super hyper scooter because the problem is they are using here's another disappointment they are using um Samsung 50e so on a scooter like this which is my disappointment because when you're when you're talking spending that much money uh, on a scooter, nearly eight thousand dollars, seven thousand five hundred dollars. You know, you should expect, you should have high expectations that it should have really nice, high quality, cutting edge, top, state of the art, top of the line stuff components inside the scooter. You would assume that it's got really nice batteries, really nice motors really nice controllers everything is super duper and we pet we pet seems like they did do pretty good engineering on on the exterior design you know they use pretty good quality parts they use aluminum uh chassis and um the motors are motors are fine they're able to handle that power um but they went they went cheap on the batteries for expensive scooter like this using samsung 50e is wrong because samsung 50e is not it's not a hyper batteries if you buy hyper scooters you expect to have hyper batteries as well doesn't it make sense a lot of people don't overlook these things they just make the buyers consumers even some sellers they just make assumption that when the battery meets you know certain maximum figure of power then it should be all good it should take it it should be fine it you, you don't need anything better you know uh but no, that is not necessarily true. That is not necessarily the case because there are better batteries out there. They should have used something more high performance batteries. There are ultra performance batteries, battery packs out there that will perform much better. Okay, Samsung 50E is not a it's not a real performance batteries. It's aimed more for range with decent amount of power 
is not equipped to deliver super high performance. They should have used batteries like uh, Samsung, Samsung 40T or Samsung 30T batteries, uh, preferably 40T because those batteries put out tremendous amount of power uh, from 30 to 35 amp per cell and they are continuous discharge a uh, continuous sustained power not not the uh, theoretical maximum pulse power so if they use Samsung 40T batteries for example it would have been better because if you put that in there uh, in if you build that battery in 9P configuration for this scooter, you'll get, man, you'll get a tremendous amount of power. Samsung 40T gives you sustained power of 30 amp times 9. You can get you will have a 270 amp of current reserved in your battery pack if you go with that one. And that is what they have what they should have used. Now the downside is that the range is shorter because this is rated at 4 amp hours. So 4 times 9 that gives you 36 amp hours versus the 45 amp hours from the Samsung 50E for this scooter. So it the, your range is reduced, but uh, that can also be solved. That gap can be closed by using better controllers. If they use sine wave controllers, that gap will be reduced to zero, and you it would perform about as good as forty five amp forty five amp hour batteries. Uh, just giving giving you guys ideas because uh, these are like uh, alternative solutions and when you equip the battery with the Samsung 40T uh, it's gonna go so fast you're gonna wet your pants I mean you're gonna literally pass out you're gonna freak out you won't be even able to handle the power because what's happening what happens is that um, it's gonna give you more power way more power than what Samsung 50E's do even if um, even if you run it at like say 150 amp for example using using Samsung 40T batteries it's not going to perform like 150 amp. It's going to perform like, I don't know, 190, 200 amp. Because the Samsung 40T or 30T, they have way more current reserved ready for you. That's how much power is stored in the battery. battery. So your power delivery will be more stable more readily available and there's no power drop my recommendation is they should have used something like 100 i don't know something like 120 or 150 amp controllers some nice quality 150 amp controllers sine wave and use samsung 40t batteries that would give you the say about same range as 45 amp hour with uh, traditional BRDC square wave controllers scooters that are equipped with those controllers and you'll get way more power with those Samsung batteries you'll go you'll go way faster way faster than 75 miles per hour even faster than 80 maybe faster with the same 
with with the lower power you can you can go faster with 150 amp controllers with those samsung 40t batteries than uh 400 amp controllers 400 amp controllers with Samsung 50E batteries. You see what I mean? So there's some cost cutting going on here because Samsung 50E's I think I believe they're cheaper but also they because of range because of a longer range I believe that is why they went with that configuration not realizing that there are other alternatives better alternatives to make the scooter go faster the problem is another problem is with the Samsung 50e battery pack they're pushed with this scooter it's pushing the battery to the limit it's pushing everything it's pulling all the power out of the battery straining the battery because your powerful controllers are literally torturing it pulling all that power so what's happening is because of that extreme intense of discharge current it's gonna cause wear and tear prematurely your batteries will go bad sooner is what I'm saying because they are, there's no headroom there's no headroom in the battery department because they use the wrong battery model batteries are not good enough to handle heavy duty heavy power power demand from hyper scooters samsung 50e is, is not a fit for for this it's not a ideal candidate the better candidate would be using ultra performance department ultra performance batteries like uh, samsung 30T or 40T or something in that class. Um, because then you have a bunch of headroom. You don't you don't even get to use up all that 270 amp because your power is limited. Your controllers are only pulling 150 amp. Okay, if you're using if they decide to use if they use 150 amp controllers. You are limited to 150 amp, but you will get guaranteed 150 amp with no power drop. It will be rock solid, rock stable, and it will actually perform better than a typical 150 amp equipped scooters. Way better because of that extra amperage stored available in the battery pack. That is the difference. So what's happening is that your because you're pulling only like half half the power, half the current. Um, it also pro prolongs the life of your battery. Your Samsung 40T batteries would last longer. Because you're even at full throttle, you're only pulling half of it. So it's very easy on it. There's, there's no... Um, you will hardly get any wear and tear and you will just keep going. And even in very cold temperatures, in fr below freezing temperatures, you'll be flying because you're getting full power. There's no drawback. There's no bottleneck on the battery. It's more than enough to provide you that power. But if you're talking Samsung 50E or other LG batteries, your power will drop because they performance change the performance vary depending on the temperature changes because they are sensitive to temperatures operating temperatures but with the Samsung 40T it's not quite the case they do drop power a little bit even at very cold temperatures but you're not gonna get that problem at all because you have so much headroom in amperage you have more than twice the headroom of amperage this is why you, you, this doesn't apply. You don't need, you don't get, you don't have that problem with the power drop. 
I wanted to mention that, I wanted to bring that, it's, it's important to share. So basically you're paying a lot of money for a scooter that is equipped with less than stellar, less than stellar performing battery packs. And people are, here's another thing, people are expecting, a lot of people are expecting that, assuming that you just get more power from the scooter because it's got more powerful controllers and more powerful motors. It doesn't work like that, guys. It doesn't work like cars. Cars where you put gas 93 octane, I don't know, even with 91 octane gas, but but your engine is more powerful. You got an upgraded engine or you got or you upgrade your car to a Mercedes Benz, Mercedes E 63S V8 bi turbo producing 600 over 600 horsepower and 800 torque or whatever or or BMW M5 competition or other super fast performance cars and you get more power because they have more powerful engine which means more powerful motor and um, yeah basically you have more powerful engine so you get more power even with the same 91 octane of gas it doesn't work like that with electric scooters you people need to wake up it does not work like that the controllers those powerful controllers do not magically pump out more power. They don't pump out more power than what the batteries can put out. It's limited to the maximum power that battery puts out. All the components are limited to that. The motors won't be able to do much for you. The um, controllers won't be able to do much for you. It's all limited by the batteries. Because the battery is your very power source. It's not like cars. Unfortunately, most people don't realize this. They think just having better controller means it's faster. No, not really. If the battery can only put out so much, you, you are limited to it. So you got to focus on the battery and my recommendation is sooner or later eventually down the road you guys going to have to you may have to just build the batteries yourself because um the manufacturers of these scooters they are more focused on profit and cost cutting by making more profits. That is their focus. They don't spend a lot of money to get the best quality parts available to get you the best power and with a lot of headroom. Nobody will do that. It's very rare. Very rare. Okay? You really want true power, more power, ridiculous amount of power and, and better lasting long lasting components you gotta you gotta build the batteries battery packs yourself because then you have a full control you can have it where you want it it will be more reliable more efficient and more effective in power delivery so that is what i wanted to share all right guys